It is the 14th of July 2023 and India is on its way to the moon. Chandrayaan 3 has blasted off from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Plus five seconds. Lift off normal. P1 Here tracking. we have a majestic lift off of LBM 3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft. P2 tracking. Like the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi rightly said, it is a new chapter in India's space odyssey. And this chapter, by the way, has been in the making for decades. The story begins in the early 1960s. Indian physicist Vikram Sarabhai was looking for an ideal place to launch a rocket, a place that would be on Earth's magnetic equator. And the compass led Sarabhai to a church in a small fishing village called Thumba. But how do you launch a rocket from a church without first bringing it down? Sarabhai went to the bishop, who in turn told the scientists to attend the Sunday Mass, where the proposal will be laid for acquiring the church. And that Sunday, the bishop asked the churchgoers, I'm quoting, Children, can we give up God's abode for a scientific mission? Amen, replied the congregation. Does that sound too filmy to be true? Except it is neither fiction nor a line from a commercially successful sci-fi movie. This is the story of India's space journey. One that famously features a bullock cart. One, this one. On the cart is Apple, India's first geostationary experimental communication satellite project. It was launched from French Guiana in 1981. And here, the satellite's antenna is being tested on a bullock cart. Why is that? Because to test the antenna, the structure had to be placed under a thermal blanket. And ISRO, by the way, did not have one. Back then, and we are talking about four decades ago, also sending the satellite abroad for the final test would add to the expense. And so a bullock cart was hired for 150 rupees. It provided a non-magnetic environment. Also, it allowed the scientists to transport the satellite to an open field for the necessary tests. This frugality has been ingrained in India's space missions. And this is what makes India's space missions so special. India has spent the most, sent the most economical mission to the moon. We are talking about Mangalyaan. In the year 2019, India sent its second lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2. The mission cost $123 million. It was cheaper than the production cost of Hollywood space movie, Interstellar, for which the maker spent upwards of $165 million. Chandrayaan-2 could not reach its destination and the heartbreak is still fresh. But that did not stop India from launching another lunar mission. Well before Chandrayaan-3 countdown started, ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, conducted a launch rehearsal simulating the entire preparation. And the man overseeing it all was S. Somnath, the ISRO chairman, born in a small village in Kerala. Somnath grew up with a habit of visiting temples, a habit that has over the years remained independent of his stellar career in science. And those who know Somnath were not surprised when he decided to visit the revered Tirupati temple with a miniature model of Chandrayaan 3 a day before the lift off. Also feeling the jitters was S. Unikrishnan, Unikrishnan Iyer, the director of VSSC or Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. It was Nair's team that developed the launch vehicle Mark 3. And before the liftoff, Nair could be heard saying that the success rate of his launch vehicle is 100%. A countdown and a skip in the heartbeat later, when Chandrayaan-3 finally blasted off, Indians around the world watched history unfold in front of their eyes with chills and goosebumps. Plus five seconds. 
Lift off normal. Here tracking. we have a majestic lift off of LV3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft. P2 tracking. Prajalan or Safalta Poon Uthapan LV M3 M4. The liftoff was a reminder of how far India has come in just a, ma a matter of decades. We have gone to the moon, we've gone to the Mars, we have launched satellites for other countries. And now we are dreaming bigger. Chandrayaan 3 aims to touch down on the 23rd of August. And in these 40 days, it would have traveled over 3.8 lakh kilometers. The mission's lander has been named Vikram. And riding on Vikram are the hopes and dreams of 1.4 billion Indians. So far, only three countries, by the way, have been able to carry out a soft landing on the moon. The United States, former Soviet Union and China. And India wants more than just the fourth place. India wants to become the first country to land near the moon's south pole. This area is yet to be properly explored and it remains in the shadow. Could India be the country that finds life outside planet Earth? That said, the risk of landing in the south is much, much higher. But is India afraid of failure? Look at the faces of the scientists behind Chandrayaan 3 and you will find your answer. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.